Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and we are gonna jump in and do a read for the first two weeks of June. This is gonna be you and who, and this is gonna be a love read, okay? My monthlies focus on what the universe wants you to know, and my bi weeklies focus on love, all right? So with that being said, we're gonna start with you, and we're gonna pull a card for you, jump into a spread for you, and then we'll jump into a read for this other side to find out what they want most from you, and then of course what their likes, dislikes, and so forth are. All right, so let's do this. It is a general read, so if you are looking for a personal read, go to the Guided Intuitive up here or in my description box, all right? All right, so let's jump into this and take a look at what's going on. What is happening for Virgo? First two weeks of June, what's coming out for Virgo? Virgo. Okay. Uh, very, very key here. What do we have here? Ah, the spaces between the words. Interesting. A 24 card. Uh, 24 card reduces to a six and a six is uh, all about uh, birthing something new, right? It's a pregnant number. It's all about growth, right? So, you know, this is an interesting card because um, this is all about um, like, you know how you look for guidance by someone else's words, right? Or maybe by going and looking into a book of some sort. But this is saying there are spaces between the words, just like there are spaces between the letters in a word, right? And if all the words were kind of clung together, it would just be all mucked up and we couldn't understand what was being said. So there, uh, hold, hold on that thought with me. Just bear with me for a minute because this is really, really, what it's talking about is that there's guidance between the spaces in words. It, you, you, between you and the divine, between you and someone else, there's guidance that's, uh, that is there for you. Okay. And, uh, and, and this is saying is that, um, in our, even in our lives, things don't just all happen at the same time, right? There's spaces between that, right? And it allows us to take reprieve for a moment to get understanding, you know, um, in that moment. And that's what this is saying is that, uh, what is the, there is a, a there is sometimes when um, we don't know, like like we there is like there there is a space that's forming around you right now, okay? And uh, you might be excited, you might be anxious, nervous, whatever that case may be, but there is a space that is around you right now. Whether it is a waiting space, it's a haven't heard from them space, or you know I'm waiting on you space, you know whatever that is. This is saying is that this space is important because this unknown terrain is for the divine to have space to step in and bring forth some information that's going to be necessary. Okay, and and this is just it, it, it creates space so the divine um, can reveal the presence uh, of him or herself. That's going to be very, very key. Okay. So this is that just for that spirit, right? For spirit to reveal itself. And if you have a lot of space uh, that is, you know, that is, uh, you know, unknowingly like around you right now, um, that just know that, uh, the, the divine is read is getting ready to step in. Okay, it can't be explained by words, and that's going to be the biggest thing. So if you're looking for a word or or something of the sort, it's not going to happen. It's really about you have to enter the space. You have to just let go and um, and just receive it and just be blessed because of it. Okay, so you know it's kind of a, a, a kind of an infamous infamous kind of like uh, something you can't really attach to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a card that's going to help you get into this light, into this space where you can get the most out of this time. Uh, and it's, there's a rebirth here. Yeah. Deep replenishment is the card that I get. Yeah. This is so true. It's like rest. This card talks about um, retreat, rest, and be held by the divine. This is so perfect, guys. This is so perfect. So just know where you at. You're where you're at right now is absolutely perfect. Okay. There's nothing that needs to be done. Um, you know, some of you are retreating to create. You know, we've got this space here, but there is some deep replenishment that is happening within you, and it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So I'm gonna put this aside, and what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, focus on. Um, a, a, re, a spread for you to find out a little bit more about you in terms of where you're at right now. So let's take a look at what that is for you, Virgo. Where are you at right now and anything else that wants to come through here, okay, for you. So you might be at a space or distance between someone or just putting space between things to get some understanding. Just know that you're at the perfect place right now, all right? All right, so let's take a look at where you're at. Ten of Wands and the Lover's card. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Uh, some sort of an anxiety, a defeat, or despair as it pertains to love, okay? And this is divine timing love, okay? This is a, this is a, 
uh, divine timing love. It could be dealing with a Gemini uh, or could be dealing with a, uh, a fire sign, perhaps, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, okay? But what I get coming out of this is that there has been some sort of anxiety or despair about a relationship or about being within love. It's kind of like, um, and, 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 and getting the lover's card just tells me that, the, that this is going to be in divine timing, that the angels are kind of watching over this, um, that it's going to be some sort of divine timing here. I'm going to pull another card in this lover's card. Uh, I'm going to see if there's anything more that wants to come out. Page of Swords. Okay. You could be getting a message uh, from uh, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. As it pertains to love. Um, and what this is, is this is about, um, it, it could be some sort of a curious message, something that's energetic that's coming through here. Uh, and whatever this case is, um, it, it looks like there is some sort of message that's coming through here. Interesting. Yeah. Some sort of message that's coming through here. Um, and uh, it, it's funny because the lover's card, I almost feel that this is like a, a wanting to flutter their, their, their wings. And it's kind of like a butterfly of some sort. It almost even looks like a hummingbird to, ex to an extent. But whatever, regardless, uh, this is about, you know, uh, rejuvenation. This is about, you know, taking off. This is about... Uh, uh, birthing of something new. They could have uh, been born from a catapult now, now blooming. Um, and uh, it's just some sort of divine timing is here. Um, let's take a look at the love oracle and take a look at where you're at and see if there's anything, any um, advice that wants to come through for this. Let's take a look. Okay. Interesting, guys. Interesting. Traveling. You could be at a distance from this person. Okay. You could be at some sort of distance. Uh, from them and maybe you are traveling to new places and, and uh, you know moving forward uh, uh, and, and seeing new faces okay but there is some sort of traveling okay yeah some sort of makeover is there some sort of do-over here or something that that um, and maybe what it is that you're doing right now Virgo is just kind of spicing yourself up right now um, and you're reflecting on and evaluating on the actions and the thoughts within the relationship or situation um, at this current moment but there is going to be some sort of message coming Coming through okay uh, they could be taking on that sword energy if they're not uh, an air sign okay but it's gonna be very curious and energetic anything else on this page of swords uh, healing I mean some of you are going through some sort of healing maybe that you've gone through some sort of suffering within the relationship or situation uh, but you're going through some deep healing right now okay maybe because you've experienced some sort of anxiety despair or you know whatever that was happening within you because you know even at the beginning you were going through a deep replenishment and getting some space so this could very much well be the case um, let's take a look at what is your opportunity here okay what is your opportunity What's the opportunity for Virgo here? Uh, let's take a look. First two weeks of June. Three of Swords. Yeah, guys. Maybe for some of you, you've gone through some sort of heartbreak within a situation. I get the Three of Swords and the Queen of Wands, okay? Maybe there has been some sort of heartbreak pertaining to some sort of fire sign, okay? Um, and uh, the, the Three of Swords is, uh, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then this is uh, fire energy. She's all, um, you know... Uh, beautiful. She's all about creativity. She's all about focusing on the light. You know, you might be uh, taking on this energy or there could be some sort of situation where there's some sort of heartbreak with perhaps a fire sign. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I see here. Interesting. I mean, the queen of wands is very vibrant, very exuberant, but there is a, a some sort of a heartache about this emotional heartbreak. Uh, tell me a little bit more about this Three of Swords. Uh, what is this emotional heartbreak here? Uh, let's take a look at what that is. What is this uh, Three of Swords here for Virgo here as it pertains to their opportunity? Uh, what do we have? Nine of Swords. Wow. Something coming to fruition. So something came to an end. This is all about anxiety, depression, or despair. Uh, after emotional, um, you know, kind of emotional heartache, right? And again, I, you know, again, it could be this that, uh, you know, it could be about a fire sign, okay? Tell me about this Queen of Wands. There's an opportunity here, Eight of Wands. So some sort of change, travel change and movement pertaining to this Queen of Wands. So for some of you, could have been dealing with the fire sign um, and uh, there's been some sort of change within this, right? Uh, maybe there's going to be a change, travel change and movement. Give me one more card on the opportunity. What do we get? Ten of Cups. Wow. Unbelievable. How do you go from the Three of Swords to the Ten of Cups? Unbelievable. Maybe you're taking on this energy of if this is not someone else that you are uh, 
uh, connected to with heartache from a fire sign. This could be you taking on this energy, being exuberant and vibrant and focusing on creating change in your life. And boom, you get the Ten of Cups. You become in alignment with oneself. So Virgo, you might be taking on this energy and this could be you, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Um, yeah, it's like it could be the case there. Oh my gosh. Maybe you're traveling and you tend to meet someone, whatever this case may be, but this, whatever it is, it gets you in some sort of alignment, some sort of happiness for yourself. You go from unhappiness, right, the Three of Swords to complete happiness. I mean, really huge change. There's an opportunity here. So if you're going through some sort of heartache, you guys just hold on tight. Okay. There is happiness on the other side over here is what's coming through here. Okay. Note that. Okay. Do not give up have faith, right? This could be when the divine steps in, right? And this uh, lover's card comes through here, uh, because this is all about divine timing. Uh, you no, know, that's a page of swords, but, uh, here we go. Uh, lover's card here. Okay. It could be divine timing related to the situation. Uh, what is, uh, that, uh, what is it that you are, um, uh, I want to take a look at what is it that, uh, uh, is the, uh, challenge. What's the challenge here? The challenge four of wands. Wow. This is uh, all about happy home harmony and it's something to do with the marriage. So maybe now the challenge has been hard to bring balance in the home, balance in a marriage, balance in, in happiness with the, with the situation. But, uh, and, and um, there's been some conflict in that. I get the five of pentacles, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Here you are. Um, but I really feel that there's maybe been some sort of conflict at home. For some of you, it could be within a relationship. Uh, maybe you're living with someone or in a marriage of some sort. Um, uh, but this could be moving, moving, uh, you know, it could be that the five of pentacles is all about, um, you know, worry about security, worry about that. Some of you are, are worried about the security about the home. Okay. Poverty of some sort could have to do with mo money. Okay. Uh, anything else? Okay. There will be clarity, victory, and power over this. So don't worry about this. It's actually, um, your, your, what, what you are, your challenge right there is that there's conflict about worry and, and the money, but it, it, you've got power, victory, and clarity that's going to come out of this. Uh, and this is, um, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's going to be a brand new opportunity coming through a potential opportunity here. So he not, things seem to be just kind of shifting and changing for you, you know, here. Um, wow. So the opportunity, the, the, the challenge is to hold on tight, uh, and to know that you're going to get the power of victory and clarity that you want out of this. Uh, anything that could help you in numerology here, what's going to help you self-discipline. Uh, yeah, do not go down that rabbit hole, really focus on, uh, having faith in the heart, right? And, uh, keeping your emotions, uh, really strong. Um, it has to do with the sacral chakra, uh, and, um, you know, also the heart chakra, especially during times of change. This is a 41 card reducing to a five. So during times of change, be self-disciplined and, um, and, and, and surrender to the change and allow it to go through the process because it can lead to a brand new beginning. This is an ending with a brand new beginning. So surrender, surrender, just like at the beginning, guys, that we talked about that, you know, really surrender to this process because, uh, it could be quite amazing, um, you know, in this. It, as it unfolds, it can bring out something better than you ever imagined, okay? What is it that you need to know most uh, within the uh, situation? What do you need to know most? Uh, Ace of Light, okay? Uh, this is saying that you've been training for this for lifetimes. So whatever it is that you're coming into... Uh, this is the age of light that you've been training for this, all right? This is about stepping into the light, your connection with source, right? You've been training for this. Tell me a little bit more about this, okay? Uh, a little bit more about this. What's coming through? Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment. You have been training on this. Oh my gosh. You get not only the Ten of Cups, you also get the Nine of Cups being very satisfied, so what you need to know most is that you will be very, very satisfied with the outcome, okay? You've been training for this. You're, you're good, okay? Uh, just know that that's the case, all right? Um, anything else for you that wants to come out? What you need to know most. Um, Nine of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. What do we have? Four of Pentacles. Everything is going to be balanced out, okay? This is going to be all about, you know, stability and security you got. Okay. Worried about it and then getting it. What you need to know is it's, you're going to feel grounded and you'll have a wreath of success regarding your stability and security. That all has to do with the root chakra. So ground yourself guys, really focus on grounding your, 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 your lower chakras. Okay. That's going to be key. Uh, your root, your sacral and your solar plexus. Okay. 
Uh, heck, do them all while you're at it, <laughs> okay? But that is what is coming through in terms of this read here. Uh, very interesting, okay? Uh, anything else that you need to know most about the Love Oracle? Okay, let's take a look. That you are, it's just that this is one in a million special love pearls. Isn't this, uh, what's your birthstone, guys, uh, this month? Uh, that we have coming out Gemini and uh, is it Taurus as well but what's your birthstone one of them one of you guys is a pearl okay but in any event in your read right now one in a million special love and that is what is happening here wow unbelievable okay let's take a look at this other person where they're at where's this other person okay what do we have here the full card brand new beginning so this other person is starting forward on a brand new beginning, okay? Uh, yeah, instinctively moving forward. Uh, yeah, down the discovery process, uh, major arcana. And then I get the king of swords. Uh, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this person is a very intellectual. They're very much in the head, okay? So very much within the head. And uh, they're really focused on their uh, balancing out their intellect, uh, very clear thinking. They're in authority of the mind, okay? Could be dealing with an air sign, all right? And then I get devil energy, which is all about uh, some sort of uh, um, addiction, some sort of uh, uh, bondage that they're tied to, okay? So it could be a devil energy that's coming through here. How interesting. I'm going to pull one card. That's Capricorn energy. I'm going to pull one more. Five of Cups, that there's been a conflict, uh, some sort of conflict, um, a loss or regret. Uh, so uh, this is some sort of loss or regret. Um, interesting. Something that they lost. Okay, something has gone away. Something has gone away. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, and, and it has, yeah, it's kind of like they're on this brand new beginning because of a loss of something. Maybe they were dealing with someone, maybe perhaps a water sign. Um, or, uh, but there, whatever it is that they're getting very clear thinking that's coming through here. What's happening over here? Tell me a little bit more about this. Uh, tell me more about this devil energy. Uh, what is this devil energy? Um, tell me a little bit more about this devil energy. Yeah. Surrendering the attachment to results. Okay. Uh, and, uh, Three of Cups, teamwork and collaboration. Wow. So I think this devil energy that they're letting go of, of this devil energy, and uh, this is about teamwork and collaboration, working together. Um, that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. And it's also surrendering to the results, uh, holding on too tightly for an outcome, can sabotage it. So they were holding on too tightly to a situation that can sabotage it. And it's just like allowing things to happen. So like you surrendering, so are they surrendering. They're being, uh, uh, they're being asked to surrender to the attachment of the results. Both of you on both sides and let things flow, okay, is what's happening here. Interesting. Uh, what is it that they want most from Virgo? What do they want most from Virgo? What do we have here? A vacation. They want to get away. Uh, and they want to balance things out. They want to balance things out and make things equal. So I think they want to get away and have a vacation and balance things out so they can make adjustments. And there's a love offer, a new door to romance. Oh my gosh. So interesting. They want a, they want a love offer. Okay. Either they're offering it or you're offering it vice versa here. Uh, and uh, you might resonate with one side more than the other. So just know that. Okay. But interesting guys. Yeah. Um, it's time to make adjustments and balance things out within the relationship or situation is what I feel here. Um, that's what they want most, right? Uh, Empress, they, you know, Empress energy, the beauty, you know, the surrounded by your beauty. They want to be uh, in the birthing of something new, that Empress energy, that feminine energy here, okay? Um, what is it that they like most about Virgo? What is this? What do they like most about Virgo? Six of Cups. So the sixes are about, yeah, it's about growth. This is about the memories. They, they're looking through the memories, uh, the emotions of that. And, um, you know, they miss that. Anything else? Um, uh, King of Wands, uh, your, your visionary view and your, uh, your visionary, uh, you know, kind of outlook on life, right? And, uh, you know, maybe you, that this, maybe you're an entrepreneur, uh, Virgo, as well. It could be coming through. But the King of Wands is all about being that visionary entrepreneur. So what they want most is um, maybe to um, vision life with you um, and they see being with you, okay? Uh, is anything more from the Love Oracle? Let's take a look. 
They see, yeah, what they want most from you is recognition. They want to be recognized within this relationship with you. Okay, that's what they want most is recognition from you. Okay, uh, and maybe they see you in the spotlight as well, you know, getting some sort of recognition. Okay, uh, what do they uh, like least? What is it that they like least about you? Okay, Eight of Cups. Interesting. So the eights are all about change and the cups, are, they don't like the, you know, you escaping from them, the disappointment in the relationship or situation. They don't like the disappointment uh, and they want to change that. Uh, and the ten of swords energy, yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So they don't like the fact that something has ended and come to an end. Uh, some sort of, uh, you know, the loss, the crisis and everything that's been kind of coming into play. Uh, anything else? The Six of Pentacles. They don't like that. E they, they don't like the equal give and take. There is not equal give and take. There's not balance. Okay. Um, they don't like that there is not balance where things can be transformed. Right. There's a butterfly there to transform this. Wow. Guys, we're going to take this over to the extended because what I want to find out a little bit more here is take this. Uh, we're going to get a little nosy on this other person and take a deep dive. All right. We're going to find out what it is that they haven't told you and what is their next move. Even more so, we looks like there is some sort of love offer coming through here, um, but we'll confirm that even more. What is their challenge in this relationship or situation and what they're most afraid of? Um, what uh, they're most impressed by about you and you them? Uh, messages from both sides, a potential outcome, and then advice oracle at the end. So if you are interested, definitely click the link below, guys, okay? All right, I look forward to seeing you next time. And definitely like and subscribe and smash that uh, um, that bell there below for uh, any more uh, information that does come out for my channel, okay, guys? Uh, it sure does help. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, namaste.